Hey guys, it's Coach Brian here from CrossFit POW Performance Optimum and Wellness, and I'm going to talk to you about the five strategies of how to be a better hockey player. That's right, five strategies of being a better hockey player. Now, if you're watching this video, you might know my bio, my background being a former professional athlete. So, to get to that level, being a pro athlete, okay, or in any professional sport, you've got to know the strategies and tips. Of how do you get to that next level? Rule number one, you've got to listen. A lot of athletes I coach out there, they ain't listening. They think they know everything. They think they got everything, and they ain't got nothing. You know what I'm saying? And if that's you, it's time to listen. You've got to listen to your coaches. If your coach is telling you something, you've got to listen to your coach. If your players are telling you something, and they're saying, hey, you've got to watch this on the ice, you've got to listen. And if the referee's saying, hey, you better watch yourself, you've got to listen. So be a successful athlete, Number one, you gotta listen. Number two, you gotta pay attention. You gotta pay attention. If you wanna be really good on the ice, if you wanna be really effective, you gotta pay attention to details, maybe that your coach or your players might not be giving to you. So for example, if you have a player that you have to cover, watch his habits. Does he like to go left a lot when he comes down the ice? Does he like to go to his right a lot? Right? Where does he like to take his slap shots from, his wrist shots from? If you watch his tendencies, everybody, we're creatures of habit. If you watch their tendencies, if you watch these types of habits, what types of calls does a particular referee like to always make? What types of players does a referee look up for to make certain calls against? I'm teaching you advanced techniques of how to go to that next level and seeing things beyond the superficial level by paying attention, okay? Number three, don't be a whiner. Okay, nobody, coaches, players, referees, and parents, nobody wants to be a whiner or wants a whiner on their team, okay? They might want a whine, but even those whiners don't want to listen to a whiner, okay? Whiners weigh people down. Whiners is just yang, 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 chat, 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 chat. All that stuff is wasted energy. When you're whining, what you're doing is you're putting the attention saying it's about me and what I need to get. And you're not thinking about the concept of the team because the concept of the team, if we break it down, T stands for together, E stands for everyone, A stands for achieve, and M stands for more. Together, everyone achieves more. So don't be a whiner. Number four, you got to work on your weaknesses, right? If you want to be the best, you want to go to that next level and you might have a really good slap shot, your, weak, uh, your wrist shot's really weak, you might have good cardio, but you're not explosive off the ice. You might have good game sense, right? All these things, you have to work on your weaknesses. Whatever it is, if your coach is telling you something, you've got to say to yourself, okay, what can I do to improve? Am I asking coach what I can do to improve? Am I asking my teammates what I can do to improve? Am I asking my mom and dad, maybe, what can I do to improve? If you're not working on your weaknesses, then you're truly not getting better to go to that next level. Those that work on their weaknesses are definitely going to raise their game. And the last one is, you got to give it all you got. If you give it all you got every single time that you go in on that ice, to make a difference, you know what? Effort is what's going to separate you. Because when you keep working hard, you're going to keep getting more success. And if you keep getting more success, you're going to keep going to that next level. And if you keep going to that next level, then you're going to hit your goals and dreams. So, what are the five strategies of being the best hockey player out there so that you can improve yourself and go to the next level? One, you've got to listen. Listen to the coaches, listen to the players, listen to the referees, okay? Number two, you've got to pay attention. Pay attention to what's happening all around you. Pay attention to what the opposition is doing. Pay attention to what the coach is saying. Pay attention, okay? Number three, don't be a whiner. Nobody wants to on their team. Number four, work on your weaknesses. Work on them, work on them, work on them, and you will get better. And number five, give it all you got. If you do those five things and you're consistently working on them, day by day, hour by hour, minute by minute, rest assured, within four weeks, you're going to be better. Eight weeks, you're going to be the best. And in 12 weeks, you're going to be Coach Brian Nugent at CrossFit Pal, POW, giving you the best hockey training out there for you to make a difference.